Hey, how are you? I am a hype of otaku, and that's because it is an absolutely amazing time to be a fan of Western animation. For starters, 2019 is already going to be a phenomenal year when it comes to plot-heavy cartoons with rich worlds and characters, so with me being the lore whore that I am, I have been foaming at the mouth for months, but what we received just three days ago set me off the edge, and it is the focus of this video. But before I get too ahead of myself, allow me to provide some background information. So back in 2016, we received two teaser clips for something known as Koji ID, an animated series in development by Wolfbat Studios. And at the time, the art style of this series looked very Pixar-esque. There was this diverse cast of characters fighting together against a horde of robots all in charming 2D, then it closed out with a 3D model of the main character. And if you hadn't already seen this, I don't blame you. The Wolfbat Studios YouTube channel which uploaded this, at the time of this recording, only have 554 subscribers to date, and combined, these two clips only add up to about 26,000 views. But fast forward to 2018, and things are looking very different for Koji, literally, and instead of being Koji ID, it's just Koji. And the instant appeal of this project right now is that it is in the hands of Studio Mur, a South Korean animation studio responsible for the likes of Avatar The Legend of Korra, Voltron Legendary Defender, and The Boondocks, which are amongst the greatest western anime of all time, and good lord does this pilot look gorgeous. The art direction, camera work, fluidity, and expressiveness are uncanny. Here we have Koji, a young boy in possession of lightning powers, and Taco, his big blue cat of a best friend boasting both ice and water abilities, racing across the beautiful landscape of their world. And sure, the video may only be about 4 minutes long, but the way it's able to encapsulate the majesty and intrigue of this living, breathing world whilst also giving us a taste of some darker undertones topped with amazing combat sequences is nothing short of brilliant. We really get a feel for the bond between these characters and how they think relatively quickly, and I found myself excited every second. Oh, and it looks like they also do the whole fusion of two animals thing the Avatar series is known for, so there's that. And I mean, overall, this is all just so cool. And Koji is described to be a fantasy adventure series aimed at children ages 6 to 11, but also intends to explore themes and topics relatable to people of all ages. Which really shouldn't surprise anyone because the same formula is applicable to Avatar and Voltron. You know, they have to push toys and things like that to keep a show like this afloat. And something like that isn't innately to the detriment of a series, it just takes creative writing really. They go on to say that Koji crash lands on a colorful Earth-like planet inhabited by incredible alien creatures and hybrid animals. It's here that he meets Taco, who will become his lifelong best friend. And they go on to journey together to defeat the evil spreading throughout the land, and it is ultimately up to them and a few others to put an end to the Robot King and his mechanical army. Now, looking at some of the early concept art provided by Wolfbat Studios, it would seem that Koji experienced your typical Superman Goku scenario, where he crash lands as an infant on an alien planet and is taken in by Taco's family. And it would also seem that when Koji was still an infant, Taco's mother fought off some sort of massive creature in a fierce battle. And I say mother because the file of the picture is titled Mom vs. Monster. And after saving the pug gorillas, one of them named Garrick, once again provided by the file, decides to join them on their quest. And man oh man do these robots look cool and menacing. And it looks like the one up front is named Jin. Beyond that, we receive a shot of the mystic plains, furthering the sentiment that this is really a gorgeous world truly worth exploring. And friends, unfortunately, there is no release date for this series just yet as it's both still in development, but also they're still looking for financial partners, which likely just means someone to pick the series up. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is one of those major opportunities to pick up something incredible. And if I'm being honest, I would love to see something like this on Netflix. 
After the whole Korra thing, I don't want this thing in the hands of Nickelodeon. And with how questionable Cartoon Network is with the treatment and airing of certain shows, frankly, I don't want them to have this either. But let me know where you would want this to end up. And links to all the videos will be in the description, so please show your support and let them know what's up. Koji is some real heat and I need it in my life. I hope you feel the same way. And you already know, if any new information comes up on the subject, I will be sure to pass the information on to you guys. So keep an eye out for this channel. And on that note, I'm curious how many of you would care for videos on the Avatar series for me, pretty much with the same in-depth analysis and information breakdowns you've come to expect, because it's a concept that I've been toying around with in my head for quite some time. And of course, just leave me all your thoughts on Koji in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you.